clean, reliable energy by 2030. We'll keep making those investments and partnering with territories and Indigenous governments to do The Honourable Member for Fort McMurray, Cold Lake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would suggest that the vaccine requirements for being on planes and at workplaces at the moment, I don't think the benefits of these mandates warrant the cost. That statement was from the Liberal member from Thunder Bay, Rainy River, who's also a medical doctor and a member of our health committee. In fact, he's been reported that a massive majority of the Liberal caucus want to see an end to these mandates. So I know the Prime Minister will listen to Conservatives, but will he take the advice of one of the doctors in his caucus and end these vindictive mandates? Yep, great question. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, our government will continue to make sure that we're putting the health of Canadians first because nobody wants another wave or more lockdowns due to COVID-19. Let's talk about what some of the Conservatives are saying about vaccination. The member from Yorkton Melville claims that the government has a secret agenda and some kind of conspiracy as she refuses to get vaccinated. Another Conservative, the member from Niagara West, wants to ban all mRNA vaccines, the same ones that have saved millions of lives worldwide. This type of rhetoric is divisive and misleading, and all members of this House should stop trying to spread misinformation. We all have an obligation to stand up for Canadians, ensure they continue to be safe. The Honourable Member for Fort Memory Cold Lake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What Canadians just witnessed right there, that was just spin doctoring and political science, not medical science. Right, it's no. been reported that a massive majority of the Liberal caucus want to see an end to these mandates. Yep. This week, the member from Milton asked my colleague, a medical doctor who ran a COVID-19 ward in Nova Scotia, to stop asking and talking about mandates. Shame. On this side of the House, Conservatives will not be intimidated by members opposite. When will we see an end to these vindictive vaccine mandates? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, back in 2020, the Conservatives claimed that we wouldn't have enough vaccines for all Canadians. But let me be clear, Canada has sufficient supply and will ensure that all eligible Canadians are protected for primary series, for boosters, as well as for pediatrics and other therapeutics. In the face of Omicron and other unfortunate variants, Canada will be able to onboard more sufficient supply of both pediatrics and boosters for the provinces and territories to expedite simultaneous vaccine campaigns. Mr. Speaker, this isn't political science. This is the science of supporting our neighbours. The Honourable Member for St. Albert Edmonton. Mr. Speaker, Canadians have had enough of the Liberals' unscientific vaccine mandates. So too, reportedly, are, have the vast majority of backbench Liberal MPs, including medical doctors. One of these medical doctors, the Liberal member for Thunder Bay, Atacokan, has even gone on the public record calling for their immediate end. So, when will the Liberals finally...